So, this is the chassis and yeah, um, both second hand items, uh, unfortunately my budget doesn't stretch. Uh, the original plan uh, was to um, use this car, which is the twin Suzuki GSX-RK6 powered car, um, as you can see it's a mess as usual. Um, on half being put back together, but this is two engines, as you can see there, um, through a billet center drive box made by XE Works. Um, this is a very early, very early sort of XE Extreme chassis. I think it's 2016 or 14, 16 around there. Um, Seicento chassis, or Fiat Seicento, should I say? Um, yeah, this is a my first class seven, um, which I built on a very, very so small budget. I actually built this car, um, and you're gonna laugh. Uh, this, this is a, what we call a super saloon in the in the world of autogress. Um, so it's the highest powered, very little limitations um, to engine packages and what have you in, in the saloon car category. Um, but I actually built this car uh, for this, I think it was £600, it cost me more, for the same money, plus £600, um, as the, the entry level category, which is Class 1, um, our Micra, which is crazy to think, really. <laughs> you know, we went went from a, a 54 brake horsepower front wheel drive production class, um, no modifications, to a two motorbike engine, probably, I don't know, 300 brake horsepower, rear engine wheelie machine um just because it was something that was close to my heart my dad my dad when i was growing up obviously raced class 7 um a number of classes really class 10 which is a special class uh which is what they call them they're special so they they fabricated buggies basically um which i i actually will upload a picture into the video for you guys to see but anyway yeah this is Okay, and it's crammed in a corner, um, but this is the, the the car. It's got some junk on it. Um, that's my bed when I go away sleeping that, that Simon's lent me. So yeah, this is just as it is, really. It needs to be put back together properly and, and given a good clean again. And yeah, and I can run through that. But that's that. Um, but back to the chassis here. So um, uh, it's it's a second-hand chassis. I believe it's either a Wayne Llewellyn chassis, so a chassis builder in the autograss world, um, or it could even be an XC Works. But I'm not hundred percent. It it's it's a good little chassis. Um, somebody's had a crack at making something out of it, but the the integral parts of it is what is what important to me. Um, I mean, you know the the front. Front cradle's all in, in good condition. Um, nothing's been hacked away there or, or massacred. Um, the floor bars and everything are in great condition. There's no big bends or anything like that. Um, there's a few few things I won't be needing, so that gear linkage and what have you will be coming out. Um, come back to here then. I assume um, that somebody's mounted some form of, of car engine. Um, this would have been a twin engine by the look of it by the mountains off the beam. Um, all of that will be cleaned up and ground back and made made well. Um, the diagonal's been taken out of it, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, there's some things that we'll be doing. Um, the, the blue tag is still on there that everyone raves about. There's some suspension pickup mounts there that, that will be coming off because we'll be putting our own. Um, so yeah, there's, this is the base of it's there. You know, the base of it is there, and that's what's important to me. Um, it doesn't look to have had any big crashes, no major bends in any big bars. Um, but yeah, it was it was bought on a budget. It was bought um, for very little money. I wouldn't have bought the steel uh, for that money. So it's it gives us a good base. It gives us a very good base to work from. Ultimately, maybe the beam isn't in the right place, and it's it's, you know, all that stuff. But... It gets me in a pickup. Um, I, I know I've always said that I'm not one for a pickup because I like to be different. But I think I think the engine, being a, a 13B rotary, 
um, will be different alone and it'll sound awesome. Um, whether it goes awesome is another thing, but we'll try our best. So yeah, this then, the shell, is a used shell. Um, I needed a shell really to be able to to mock everything up to know how much space we've got in, in here. Um, so that we know roughly how far back we can come things with things and engine and gearbox position, intercooler, all that sort of stuff, radiator. Um, and yeah, it, it's used. It's It's got a few battered and bruised bits, you know, there's a few dents in the doors. Um, but the, the roof, again, and the pillars and the scuttle are all in good condition and it gets me started. So we'll see how, how finances go um, and perhaps one day we'll have a new one. So, yes, I'm back. Um, we are going to be making a some sort of um, ghetto uh, budget fabrication table. I mean... Uh, ultimately, you'd make it out of steel, um, but my hot metal glue gun skills aren't the best, um, I'll be honest. I'm far happier with a bit of wood and some screws. Um, but yeah, I can weld, I don't get me wrong, but uh, yeah, you, you need masses of equipment that I don't have everything of. I do have bits to glue metal together, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'd rather do it in wood, and it's it's something that I can dismantle easily and, and lean up against the wall and what have you. So we're going to make a a flat working surface uh, out of timber on some probably 12 inches long feet just to raise it up so you're not on your knees all the time um, that we can lay the chassis on. I might might make some, I'm, I'm saying I can't weld, I can, um, might make some points then out, out of steel that get screwed to the table um, as a reference point for the chassis. Uh, so that it's all on there in a semi sort of jig as such, but it's not going to be a jig. It's just a flat surface to work to and to measure to and mark. Um, and it gives Jack a good platform then to, to measure. Uh, we know it's level, so the floor in here isn't the levelest, but it's all right. But we can have something to work from then. Um, so Jack can measure and, and draw the, the chassis and CAD then for the new new back end and a few changes to the chassis so it gives him a good good point to to work from so that's what we're doing right now um i'll take some pictures along the way it might not be the prettiest thing but it it's it's uh yeah function over over beauty shall we say so we'll see how we get on and i'll post some pictures in the video turns out a fiat Seicento space frame car makes a really good saw table just thought i'd note that and add it in there oh anna and a deck chair, yeah, just just good tips for you guys. Winning. Does everyone else get the frustration when they put something down and they can't find it? I mean, I know if I tied it up, it would be easier, but tape measure. Where's the effing tape measure? Anyway, um, I'm a man of great beliefs of recommendation. So I just cracked open these chicken style Viva chips. Um, they look super nasty. They were 55p for a big bag. And oh, I found the tape measure. They're like chicken drumsticks. Winning and they taste. Bloody marvellous. Found the tape measure. Yeah. Panic over, panic over. Just like that. Simple as that. Um, so, all cut, all semi-laid out, just need to square everything up and screw together. Um, what I'm doing here is, is marking the centres, um, so put them at, uh, yeah, 20 inches. Um, just leaves enough room between, um, so I've marked every centre there. I'll mark the centre of these timbers in line, showing the dots basically. Um, so do that both sides. Screw it together. That's them all screwed in place and squared up. Um, don't know how. Uh, I know maths wasn't really my strong point and I didn't realise it'd probably end up with a job that requires maths. Um, yeah, uh, I seem to have miscounted. Um, I need another two timbers. Don't know how that's happened, but it has. So. We'll 
call it a night, I think. Um, go home and see my wife and children um, and get this screwed and buttoned up another night. So, yeah, uh, work in progress. But we'll get there. So, exciting. Busy few after hours in the afternoon. Um, yeah, we've been busy. Um, finished the homemade fabrication table, uh, which will be the base for measuring and all the reference points that will be made will be made from the table because we're going to level it and it's perfectly square. Um, so eventually I plan to make a jig effectively that will screw down to this table. Um, yeah, all the you see on the on the side of the beam here. Um, I'll chop them a square, make sure they're the same distance, and make a bracket basically weld a bracket down to the table when I know which height the floor will be at. Basically, um, we'll we'll do that, and then we know we can work a wheelbase, and we can do everything from that. Then, um, so I made the table wide enough to incorporate enough room for a wheel. Um, because eventually, once it's rolling, which in a few weeks time, uh, it will be, fingers crossed, um, we can drop it on the scales and see what, what it weighs. Uh, and then get happy with the grinder. Right then, back in my workshop, if you want to call it that. Um, yeah, we've had a small amount of tidying up. I mean... Um, yeah, go-kart shells back on his frame and sorted panels and what have you. So still waiting for the scrap to go um, and that will free up some space. And then we can finish this one. Um, sorry state it is. But anyway, back to my, what I hope to be, insane rotary project. Um, we've we've had a little bit of a giddy moment, um, brought the engine home. So here she is. This is a bridge ported 13B and I'm not a rotary guy. I don't really understand them. I just love the noise they make. So my knowledge is poor. I'm just very lucky to have a good good engine builder that, that is genuine. Um and so far so good. We we've 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 met each other, he's a great guy, he likes to laugh. Um, says it as it is, and that's exactly what I am. Um, kind of like does what it says in the tin sort of stuff. And yeah, I got on great with him. He, he, you text him saying, "Can you talk?" He rings within thirty seconds. It's just can't fault it. So I'm dead happy with his service so far. Um, I will ask him whether he he minds being in these videos um, because I don't know if he's a if he's a um, shall we say I don't know. Uh, he's not a, a media guy. That's what I was trying to trying to get at. So anyway, this is the engine. So for anyone that wants a back for the time of forty, uh, don't lift thirteen B engines on your own. Whew. Nearly there. I mean, this little bugger's no help. You. Remember kids, safety first. <laughs>